So I've just been up and ordered. You can hear the coffee making in the background. It's a lovely sound. Um, kind of the morning dawn song almost in cafe form. Right, Tom's going for the full Monty breakfast, which is consisted of two sausages, two bacon, two hash browns, one egg, beans, tomatoes, mushrooms, black pudding and toast. I've gone for the large breakfast just because I'm not interested in mushrooms and I'm not interested in black pudding. Uh, yeah, so we will let you know how they get, how they turn out kind of thing. Lovely. Right, it is the moment of truth, people. Breakfasts have arrived. Let's see if I can get some shots of it. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Just a quick tilt to the camera. You can see, healthy option, orange juice for me. Breakfast, spread eagled, like a kind of beautiful fruit. Right, yeah, let's get stuck in. Breakfast has been consumed. I've enjoyed it very much. My first full Welsh which seems to be the same as a full English, but everyone's a lot friendlier and more smiley and stuff. So it's been a pleasant experience for me. Tom, what are you saying, fan man? What is your rating for your breakfast? Callum, my man, I will give this a strong 4.8 out of 5. 4.8 4.8 stars. 4.8 stars out of 5. I would say, yeah, the sausages were very good. Bacon was very good. Um, egg was lovely. There's nothing I can mark it down for, to be honest with you. There was ample amount of beans, and the service was absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it nine and a half thumbs up out of ten, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, only not giving it ten because you know you can never achieve perfection. You've always got to have something to strive for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I couldn't recommend it. Keep on the stones. Yeah, I couldn't make it recommend it highly enough. It is the like try and say it. Ah, that's Welsh, isn't it? Pen up. Pen and ma, pen and pen, pen, pen man ma. Pen, my mouth. Pen, my mouth. If you, it's, it's the beach cafe down Conway, it's in Conway, aren't they? Uh, this is pen now. This like, is pen. This is the pen, my mouth beach cafe. Lovely here. That's the owner in the background. He just came over, but we're telling him how well he's done and stuff. He asked for his rating. I told him, and he would say, "Well, how do you get like full marks?" And I was just telling him, you know, it's impossible to. If I give you full marks now. You're never going to hit that again, are you? You've already kind of reached the pinnacle. And for me as well, because I've had to do a lot of these reviews, if I just had the perfect breakfast, you know, I'm not going to want to carry on. So, yeah, you can never, ever hit perfection. You've always got to be striving for better. We are outside the cafe. We've just eaten the... the oh, I can't even speak. We've just eaten the delicious breakfast. And now I'm taking in the just as delicious scenery. Look at that island out of sea. Peninsulas. I mean, I'm, I live a long time on the Isle of Wight, so I'm used to seeing the sea, but this is different, it's more deserted. Um, on the Isle of Wight, it's a major shipping channel, you know, the solar and stuff. You've got boats bobbing all the time, going into Southampton Harbour, cruise ships, big liners and stuff. But that's just deserted out there, it's just wilderness, sea. Look at that island out there. I'm talking about being Prince of Wales and stuff, if I could somehow get myself a little island just off the coast, that would be awesome, I could rule it. And people could come and stay, you know what I mean? Other YouTubers, people in my corner, random people. What do you reckon of that idea, Tom? Uh, Callum's Island. Callum's Island. Sort, sort of like, uh, you set some tasks, like we're doing Survivor. Yes! I'd love to do like, you know the island, like with Bear Grylls, we could do that. Come yeah. live in the wilderness, see if you survive. Definitely. But don't be a spasmoid or I'll hunt you down. And I'll know the terrain better than you, because it's my island, you'd have no chance. Yeah, like Hunger Games with Callum. Absolutely. I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. You can't beat me at Top Trumps, you can't beat me at Bop It, and you will not beat me on my island. We are in the lobby of Tom's flat. So this morning we've done full English breakfast, or full Welsh breakfast, full Welsh. as he was insistent. Um, we're going to head into um, somewhere in Wales. Uh, oh, we're heading to Clandidno, and then we're going to have a wander around Conway. <laughs> Clandidno, I've been told. It's quite phlegmy, which is appropriate at the moment, because I've got a massive cold. Um, we're going to head there. I want to get a mic for my camera um, so it'll make the vlogs a little bit better so it can be out and about without just the wind blowing and also for the comment jams and stuff it could be pretty awesome. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Tom's going to drive me in his little Corsa. In the Nantmobile. Yeah, he's, he's a safe driver. He picked me up last night from the train station. Very kind of him. And yeah, he's a safe driver. Oh, it's a football. Do you play football, Tom? Have you ever played football? Uh, I'll play just kickabouts. Just kickabouts. You know, I'd quite like to do a little kickabout video. Maybe a penalty shootout or something. Yeah, a bit of heads and balls or something. Heads and volleys, yeah, or wall ball. Uh, me and my mates used to do wall ball, and we called it wall ball bombs. So the loser had to, at the end of it, bend down, kind of hold their ankles, and a winner got to take a penalty and try and aim for their arse. You know. Yeah, we called that red arse. 
it's not really massively painful it's just humiliating having a ball spank off your buttocks if they do hit it you rarely get that connection that satisfaction i mean i didn't lose often i'm quite good at ball games but yeah i'd rarely get the satisfaction of actually hitting someone's ass and you're quite skinny tom so i'd imagine it would be a difficult target whereas i'm quite plump at the moment right here we go this is the course of my here we are in the town of Conway and I'm just entering like this little castle. Pretty rickety kind of thing I'm on. So I'm gonna go through. I'm having to massively crouch down because of my size. I mean, try and get you some perspective of that, how much bigger I am than a doorway. You know what I mean? Look, Tom, hold this. Just show them. Just people, you know, they're saying, you're not six foot five, you're not massive. I am, it's been proven. Shut up. That's a sick place, okay? Yeah. Japan, come see. Sheep. Little sheep. Um, I'm not going to play up to the kind of stereotype. I'm not going to say, you know, oh, Welsh, you know, maybe doing boom boom with them. I think it's false. I've seen no one boom boom in a sheep since I've been here. <coughs> Castle in the background there. Can you see that? Magnificent. I was made to live in a castle. I really do think my corner should be coming from a castle. Look at this. Absolutely awesome. Have a look at that battlement. That battlement. People would have been in here firing out arrows and hot tar and pitch and you know, throwing off cows off of those turrets and stuff. Oh, I would have loved to have lived in. Live hard, die young. That's what they say. And he did back then, but he lived a life fully, you know, well in a moment. You could be cut down at any time. What a motivator to be all that you can. No time for spitting bars and kind of aggressive looking prawns in times like that. It was defend yourself or be killed trying. Absolutely wow. And that's the sea over there. Look at this castle on the sea. Incredible. Little railway line there. You'll get vertigo. I get vertigo. I'm not a massive fan of heights. Don't like mentioning my weaknesses in videos, but I don't think that can be used against me. That does make my head wobble a bit this height. Mm. This height. A new microphone stuck on top of my camera. Oh look, the train! It's just a Virgin train, diesel. Pretty boring. Um, I'm much more of a fan of kind of steam locomotives. Are you a fan of train spotting, Harry? I wouldn't say I'm a train spotter, but I do like a big, magnificent steam locomotive, the Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman uh, comes up here a couple times a year. Does it? Oh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to see that, I'd like to be mate. on that. Just a train. Just a train? Just a train. Oh, that's a magnificent train. It's a stallion, it's a beast, the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> Old school machinery, pumping, massive machinery. Vibrating, thudding, screeching. Brought me into possibly the best shop in the world. What's it called, Tom? We don't know. It's knights. It's about knights and uh, kind of. Uh, it's like basically Game of Thrones in a shop. Tom's going to check on what it's called. Um, I've just found something incredibly awesome in here. A gift for Eddie, uh, which I'm very excited about. What's it called, Tom? The night shop. The night shop, Tom. Right, I'm gonna show. You're gonna hold it up for me. What I found to my, my little nephew Eddie. All right. I mean, Eddie obviously looks a lot nicer than that baby, but. It's, yeah, Little Knight's costume. Little Knight Eddie, he's gonna love it. I'm gonna buy that right now. Uh, but yeah, the shop doesn't end like that. That's, you know, good, but Knight's helms, I mean, there's swords, there's crossbows, longbows. Just, yeah, it's like Game of Thrones. Absolutely awesome. One of the best shops I've ever been in. There's jewelry as well. I mean, that doesn't interest me. You know, that's for more for the kind of women. A little bit more like magpies, they see shiny stuff, they're interested. Um, I'm more interested in kind of weaponry. Uh, not because I want to 
Not hurt anyone with the weapons, but just it looks really cool. Daggers, all kinds of different stuff. And look up there, massive swords, massive swords and axes. Absolutely incredible. Shields, and then at the piece de resistance, it's a bloody dragon skull, like the Targaryens. God knows how old that must be. We're still in the shop. The owner's given us full permission to film here. There's an awesome little wolf-like puppy behind the counter. Look at this weaponry. Look at the size of that one. Absolutely incredible. And the details on that one. Their morning stuff. Oh my goodness, I've read about all of this in Game of Thrones. Muskets, shields, absolutely brilliant. I've literally not been this excited for a long time. Tom, you've done very, very well here. Fantastic. It is now, um, it's gone 11 o'clock on <clears throat> Wednesday night. We are still working hard on this um, first of the videos we're going to bring to you. Um, yeah, it's a diss track for a couple of very, very big YouTubers. It's going to tie in with a commentary video on my commentary corner. Really, really excited about this. I'm full of cold and blocked nose, feeling rubbish, but we're just powering through, you know, the creative juices are flowing, and um, yeah, this is gonna be banging, absolutely banging. Tom's here, he's working away, he's got the headphones on, recording some vocals. The mic's being shit, the equipment's bad. Everything's cracking up, you know, the equipment's bad. I've got a new mic on top of my camera, I'm gonna test that, see if it's working. Um, but we need the other mic to be working now, but yeah, this is, you know, it's called The Grind, I've heard YouTubers talk about it. Um, my videos are kind of almost more poetry for my heart that I just spew out um, as and when I'm feeling emotional or angry or like I just want to or like I you know just want to talk to you guys um, but this is you know just grind hard work I mean it's enjoyable don't get me wrong it's good stuff um, and it's going to be a great video but you know it's it's a lot of work you know I'm seeing what Tom does for his videos it's an awful amount of work, you know, imagine he's making these comment section songs and he's not only got to go through every single video to find comments without knowing exactly what his song is going to be and what's going to rhyme with those stuff. He's then got to make the song about it and then edit all those comments in there, you know, all that cut and paste in. It's so much work. Um, and this is graft, this is graft, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping it will be worthwhile at the end of it that you guys will enjoy it. I think you will. I think you will. A up and out from Conway, from C to the A up, C to the A up. Have you got a little grimy grime name or a like a name, Tom? That you're not so little T, not so little T, and C to the A up, A up. Click, 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 B. Yo, are you all ready for this? <laughs> click, 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 B. Do, 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 do. But this is what it's been like, just riffing back and forth, you know, you talk about being on the grind, but this isn't too bad really, you know, we're smashing it. <laughs> hey, oh, right, me and Tom are just walking down now to find our location to film part of the music video uh, for this part of this track that we've been working on. Is Tom. Hello everybody. Awesome. Yeah, it's been such a busy couple of days, such a busy couple of days, but I think it will be totally worthwhile. It's, it's been good fun, it's been good fun as well. A lot of fun. Can't wait to do it again. Yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. Really enjoyed it. I think this is a lot of what the corner is going to become, going out and about and doing these kind of things, vlogs and yeah, and traveling places as well. I've been thinking I want to take myself to the States uh, later this year, maybe do a road trip across. Um, and yeah, a few other places as well. Me and Tom were chatting about Amsterdam, weren't we? Amsterdam, for sure. Tom's been, I've never been, and he thinks he thinks it's a good place to go. It's best place in the world. Best place. It's real life Candyland for grown ups. So we'll see, we'll see, possibly, maybe. We don't know, we don't know. Yeah, mountains in the background around here. Look, I'll turn it round just so you can see where we are. Well, there's a little mountain there. You know what I mean? Is that a mountain or is it just a hill? That's a mountain, mate. It's a mountain. Awesome, awesome. Wales is a really nice place. Everyone is so friendly here. Um, really. What's this? A little bowling green. Bowling green. Bowls. It's Bowls. Not so green now. No, it's not. Yeah, this gives you a little idea. Look, there's a up above a little peak to the mountain. Often have snow on them, apparently. Yeah. 
very different to Bristol, where I've just been. It reminds me a little bit of the Isle of Wight, I've probably said that about a million times. Uh, it's a bit colder though than the Isle of Wight. Uh, we're going in a little tunnel now. Sounding good. If I could get the wind picture, it'd be even better. There you go. Blurriness. Synchronization is important. So is my duty. The fact that I can't remain dormant. Now I'm spitting random shit. The acoustics have changed that slip. Into that other tunnel. Now follow me and we'll cover this shit. Through. 